Okay, 13.2. Angle and parallel lines. Angles and parallel lines. There's four things of vocab that we have to know today um, in order to answer any questions. First, we need to know what a transversal is. A transversal is a line that intersects two or more lines at different points. So this line here, this vertical one, is the transversal to these two lines here. Okay. So the transversal line is the one that intersects two or more lines. Um, corresponding angles are two angles that occupy corresponding positions, so positions opposite of each other. Okay, Those angles, when the transversal cuts parallel lines, lines that are parallel to each other, those angles are congruent, they're equal. So if two lines are parallel, like here and here, Okay, and a transversal cuts them, that means that the corresponding angles are also equal. Okay. Alternate interior angles are two angles that lie between the two lines on opposite sides of a transversal. Okay. If they are two lines that are parallel again, cut by a transversal, then alternate interior angles are also equal. Alternate exterior angles are two angles that lie outside of the two lines on opposite sides of a transversal. If the two lines are parallel again and cut by a transversal, alternate and exterior angles are equal. Okay? So then we come over here where we have just two lines. Are these lines parallel to each other? No. No. They're not parallel. Okay? They're cut by a transversal. I want to know all of the corresponding angles in this diagram. Corresponding are two angles that occupy corresponding positions. What? Would it be 5 and 8? And then no, no, no. 5 and 8, we learned yesterday, what are those specifically? Vertical. vertical angles. Okay, so vertical are not corresponding. Corresponding means corresponding positions. What oh. do you think that means, Emmanuel? Uh, one in five. One in five. Two and six. So angle one and, and angle five. You said two and six. Uh, yeah. Angle two and angle six. Okay, so one, five, two, six. What else? Three, seven. Three, seven. Good. Four, eight. Four, eight. Okay, and 4, 8. Does that make sense? Okay, corresponding. They occupy corresponding positions. Alternate interior. Two angles that lie between the two lines on opposite sides of a transversal. Sierra, what? 3 and 6. 3 and 6. So they're on the inside, they're opposite of each other. 3 and 6. What else? 4 and 5. Um, 4 and 5. Are there anything else? No, those are the only ones on the inside of the two, of the transversals. What about alternate exterior? They lie on the outside of the and are opposite of each other. One and seven. One and eight. One and eight. Two and seven. Angle one and eight. And angles two and seven. Anything else? Okay. That's what we're looking for there. Now, over here in the green, we have to uh, label what each angle is. So you have line M, you have line N, you have your transversal T. They want to know what are angles 1 and 8. Alternate exterior. Okay. What are angles 2 and 6? Corresponding. What are angles four and five? Good. Okay. Then we come to this diagram here. Now, I know that these lines M and N are parallel. How do I know that by looking at the picture? Because they're parallel. Do you see these little arrows here? That tells me they're parallel. If they have arrows that are colored in like that on it, that means those lines are parallel to each other. Okay? That's the like symbol for when lines are parallel to each other. So these two lines, M and M, are parallel and they're cut by transversal T. Okay? 
If the measure of angle 1 is 75, I need you to tell the, me the measures of every other angle in that diagram. So, I'm going to go ahead and write 75 up here so I can see it. What would be an easy angle to tell me the measure? Uh, Emma, four. tell me one. Four. Angle 4 is what? 75. Why is angle 4 75? Because vertical angles. Because vertical angles. Good. Tell me another one. Five. What five. Angle 5 is what? Uh, Why? Because they're corresponding and they're parallel to each other. What else we got? Eight. What's 8? Eight? Uh, 75. Yeah, and tell me. Alternate, alternate exterior. So angle 8 equals 75 because it's alternate exterior. Good. So I have uh, 4, 5, 8. What else can I do? 6. How did what? Seven. Okay, what's the measure of angle two? One. It's what? 105. Why? Because, because it's equal 180. Good, it has to equal 180. Yeah. So angle two is 105, right? What can I tell from there? Three. Three, Three, Three is 105 because they're what type of angles? Vertical. Vertical. What else? A six. Uh, six. Seven. What is angle six? Corresponding. Correspond. Uh, seven. 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 Seven is alternate exterior to two, right? Yeah. Okay, did we label all of them? Yeah. Yes. Beautiful. Good job. Okay, last thing. What happens if I have something like this? Find the value of x when m and n are parallel. What do I do? You do try to get x by itself. So would you add 62 and 18? You know, you don't add them. What do I know about this angle here and this angle here? They're equal. So that means they are the same. equal, right? Yeah. So what should I do with those two things? Make them equal to each other? Yeah. So I'm going to take 5x plus 18 and set it equal to 63. How do I solve from there? Subtract 18. Subtract. Good. And what do you get when you subtract 18 from 63? 45. 45. And what do you get now? 9. So x equals 9. Okay. On your homework, you're going to have stuff like that, and then you're going to have to plug 9 back in and give me angle measures too. But what should this angle come out to be? 63. When you do 9 times 5, what do you get? 45. And what's 45 plus 18? 63. Beautiful. That's how you can check. Okay. okay. Any questions on anything we talked about here today? I'm, I think this is pretty simple and self-explanatory. I think you can do this. Yeah.